This is the part of the video where I'm just like, what should I put on my lips? I need something. Not that. How about a more berry color? This is candy apple. Oh, got a Snapchat from my sister. Better snap her back. She's at Wawa. It's a gas station grocery store and it's super great. Oh, that was not an attractive picture. Hello, sunshine. So today I'm going to be doing a review of a product that is called the Color Switch Solo. It's by a brand called Vera Mona. And I first found out about this product from Instagram. I don't remember how, I just kind of stumbled across it and I was really intrigued. And I've only found a couple of videos reviewing this product online, one of which was Bunny Graveyard Girl, uh, but I didn't really see any others. So I wanted to review this product for you because if it actually works, like it looks like it works, I think it's going to revolutionize my world my makeup artist world. So a little bit of backstory. There are two versions of this product, the Color Switch Solo and the Color Switch Duo. The Color Switch Duo has a little cutout in the center of the sponge, you'll see what I mean when I bring it out and show you in a minute, um, that you can get wet and it's good for getting your brushes wet to apply product wet. The only downside to the sponge is that for sanitary purposes you should dispose of it after every use. And they sell refillable like sponges for the center on their website but I just didn't foresee myself using that at all. So I got the color Switch Solo, which is just the sponge, and this product retails for $16.99. It is only sold online right now. They also have other products like an armband version, and you can get replacement sponges for this, but this sponge is washable. So first, let's dive into the first impressions and let's see how this works together. So I'm just going to bring this out. Oh, the packaging is really cute. So there it is, it's nice. On the back it says glide eyeshadow brush against black sponge to remove color. Sponge can be washed with a fragrance free soap and warm water. Lay flat to dry. It's assembled in the USA patent pending. So this is what it looks like. I was really intrigued by this product because at first glance it just looks like a makeup beauty sponge. You know like you might use for like effects makeup, like one of those kind of stipply gray sponges. It's really firm, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to put this to the test with you guys on camera right now. So I grabbed a, a fluffy brush and this brush, as you guys can see, there's nothing on it. So just because I have a flair for the dramatic, I've decided that I'm going to use Blackout from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette to demonstrate this. So I'm just going to dip my brush into that color and I'm going to swatch it so you guys can see. Super pigmented. Okay, so that's before the color switch. And basically I think we're just supposed to kind of go like this. So we're just going to kind of go like that around and around and around. And this is a cheap elf brush so bristles are going everywhere. <sighs> I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but whatever. Okay, I, I think that's enough. I don't know. I went for a few seconds. Let's see. Whoa. That's really impressive. What do you guys think? That's really impressive. I'm pressing really hard. Nothing is coming out except bristles because it's a cheap brush, like I said, but that's really impressive. Look at that. Nothing. Let's do another one. Let's do this purple color. Really pigmented. Rubbing it around, rubbing it around, rubbing it around. I did that for less this time. Let's see. No, nothing. That's amazing. That's incredible. Okay, so, wow. I'm actually kind of impressed and I don't really know what to say. That was really cool. So, there was literally no residue left on my hand. These are the before swatches. There was nothing. I don't know how this works. How does this sponge make that happen? That's bananas to me. I'm super impressed. This is so going in my kit. I'm gonna get one of these for my kit and one for myself because that is incredible and I am so into it. So the only downside to this product is potentially it could ruin brushes. I haven't done this with any of my high quality brushes but I, I elf brushes are pretty cheap and the bristles tend to fall out anyway so I'm not sure how this holds up with more high end brushes. I just haven't tried it with them. Um, this is just what I had laying around up here but that would be one of my concerns is how it treats the brushes over time. But the only other note that I would have about this is not a con, it's not a pro, it's just a comment, and that is that this 
product is wonderful for helping you switch colors however it does not sanitize your brushes yes you can clean your brushes but it's really really intended for cleaning your brushes in between uses applying on either yourself or hypothetically the same model with the same germs and the same bacteria on the face like it's the same person so it doesn't sanitize your brushes which I think is an important note but for what it does, which is helping you switch colors mid whatever, I am super impressed. And for $16.99, that is super great. So the this product, the Color Switch Solo, is $16.99 on the website. The refills are $7.99. So with washing it and taking care of it, I wouldn't see why I couldn't get some good life out of this product. So let me know in the comments down below if you have heard of this product and what you think of this product. Is this something that you would buy? Is this something that you foresee being useful? I, as a makeup artist, foresee this being very useful for my kit, and I didn't get the arm band version that they actually sell on the website because I felt like this version was way more travel friendly. I don't really know why, I just like the idea of being able to grab it and swoosh it or set it on the table and swoosh it, you know, I don't know. Yeah, so I think for the value you get a wonderful product, I'm super impressed with it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this first impression and review video. I like doing this sort of video because I like kind of being wowed on camera or I guess disappointed on camera with you guys <laughs> so we're kind of learning and seeing for the first time together let me know in the comments down below if you like this kind of video too if you would like me to do more first impressions and mini review videos because I would be very down to do that if you guys were interested Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and they're a lot of fun. I post videos on a varying array of topics, not just beauty videos, but please let me know down below if there are any videos you would like to see me do, if there are any topics pressing on your mind or books you'd like me to review. If there are any beauty products that you would like me to review, let me know in the comments of this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Today's video is a makeup tutorial of the look I was wearing in my April TBR. Yeah, because usually they do them two times a year, I think. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, they just had a 